Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Hi, hey, how are guys and gals? It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. First of all, I want to say a big thank you for helping us reach 50,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Anyway, we got a, a big old video here for you. We're going through the, uh, the, the new catalog for this month, and you know these, these videos take a whole bunch of time, so we're going to throw it over there. Let's take a look at this. We're going to dive right into it. All right, we're going to be trying a little different format today. Uh, we're going to be doing the top down using the old uh, camera tripod trick here. Going through the uh, the catalog, see what we got. We got, of course, giant liquidation, making room for unbeatable tool deals. Unless, of course, you got a stick. If you're monkey with a stick, you can probably beat them. But anyway, here we go. Inside track, people always ask about the inside track. Um, it's going to be more pertinent in the future, and they finally get the whole automatic couponing thing figured out. Right now, unless you spend about... 50 to 100 dollars a month or more at harbor freight every month i don't see inside track being all that valuable if you are smart about it though it can be uh you can pay off in one or two purchases uh sale starts today doesn't say what day it is but of course sale starts today it's always on sale so let's start off with what we got here on the front cover sorry it's sideways here and all we got the u.s general five drawer carts of course now also in uh, lovely uh, arctic polar bear white for $199.99, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a coupon out there that takes it down to under $180. Uh, so you're going to want to go look for that. We got the 18-volt lithium-ion, the Warrior Drill. If this is the only tool you need, it's not a terrible drill for a homeowner. But right now, they don't have a whole bunch of other stuff in there. So I'm sorry, we're going to have to... Uh, I don't have any red, so we're going with a pink. Let's try that. Probably on this gloss, it won't work. We're going to say no to that one. Let's keep going. The uh, the lights here, the these rope lights, again, for actual lighting, they're not great. For mood lighting, they're not terrible. So that's not a bad buy at 20 bucks. We got the new three-ton heavy-duty jack. Look at this. This is the new uh, new price, $89.99. I'm glad to see him getting down to that price. I still haven't seen what the difference is other than it's red. It's the Series 2. Maybe someone will figure that out and they can tell me. Uh, leading Edge Thunderbolt uh, batteries. Haven't followed up on the batteries. What do you think? Is this a decent price? Should we uh, be looking at it at that price? I don't follow batteries enough. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest. I, I, uh, I whip out when it comes to batteries. I just tell the wife to pick them up when she goes to the grocery store. Uh, the Titanium High Speed Steel Bits for $8.99. $8 now, these are not top of the line bits. But if you're not doing metal work every day, you should have a set of bits like this. So if you're not doing serious metal work, I would say get those, throw them in your toolbox because there's a good day when you're going to need them and you're going to be glad you have them. The reciprocating saw with rotating handle for $19.99. This is a light duty DIY saw. This is not a prosumer saw. It's not a professional level saw, but it's great for light duty kind of stuff. Uh, the 13-piece toolkit set, uh, I heard a lot, of pe lot of feedback on that, people saying they don't care for it. I've never used it myself, so I'm sorry, but we're going to have to say, uh, we're going to do, we're going to switch over, that pink doesn't show, we're going to do negatory Ghost Rider on that one. And of course, the, what do we got here, the the inverter generator, these things are awesome. They, they're, compared to a regular generator, they're so quiet. Uh, I will say this, though. Quite often these show up in parking lot sales for quite a bit cheaper. So unless you really need one right now, I'd say wait for a parking lot sale. Uh, uh, there should be one coming up this month, as a matter of fact. And we've got the Hardy 5mm gloves. You should always have packs of these around. These are light at 5mm. Now, you got to pay attention to the, the size on these. 5mm, that's the density of the latex on these, or the, sorry, the nitrile or whatever. They're not latex. You don't use latex. A lot of people are allergic to latex. Uh, these are the lightest duty gloves. This is just basically to keep light duty chemicals. And also it's great if you're doing sensitive work because you can still feel what you're doing. If you're going to do something that has heavier duty stuff that you really don't want to make sure it doesn't get on your hands, you're going to want thicker gloves than that. But these are great for light duty kind of stuff. Um, all right. Now we're going to jump into it here. We'll see what else we got in the old catalog. And again, we're going to move fast because there's a lot in here. And yeah, the bear's going to skip stuff. I know. I got Jeff doing the catalog, but you know how he gets. He gets anxious, especially if he misses his nap time. All right. We've got these 
Oh, security camera set up there. Two nineteen ninety nine. This is a decent security camera system. It's not by any means top of the line or anything, but it will get stuff done. These lights, actually, I'm a big fan of these lights. If you uh, if you need to put something out somewhere, this is a 500 lumen. I don't know if it's 500 lumen LED solar security system. What this is is this is great for areas where you can't run power and you just need some light. If you got a shed out back, you want some lighting as you open the door and stuff. It's good for that. Or if you got a part of the house or part of the of your uh, your parcel land or whatever where you're worried about intruders, these lights turn on automatically. Nothing scares off of bad guys like something turning on, make it look like there's someone who lives there or somebody who's actively watching them. Uh, the Rapid Pump 1.5 ton aluminum jack. If you've got a smaller car, this is the jack you want to get. It's nice, lightweight. I love them. They get this little handle on it down here. makes it easy to pick up. I wish they'd do that with the larger jacks. Uh, these things are great at $59.99. Yeah, you can get a, a heavier duty jack, but if you don't need a heavier duty jack, and there's a lot more reliable than the than some of the less expensive stuff they sell, it's a nice jack to have. This. This is a must-have. If you don't have one of these, your homework is to go get one. All right, that's just the way it is. These things are phenomenal for the price, and that's that's the buy it price. That's the cheapest price you're going to see it at. Come on, uh, the camera doesn't like the waviness on the. Oh my gosh, it's having a conniption. There we go. And uh, it's ninety dollars. These things will cut through about anything, but the variable speed. Remember, you want to go slower with metal, and it's all about the blade. The blade, all right. The blade that comes with it isn't terrible, to be honest. Uh, but you can buy better blades, and they will cut through about anything. I've cut through hardened steel with it. I cut through a whole bunch of, of ratchets, hardened steel ratchets, some of the toughest metal you can get, uh, you know, for everyday use. We're not talking like industrial diamond hardened kind of stuff, but it's great. All right, we've got the uh, the yard work here. Three-in-one electric blower vacuum and, and mulcher for $40. If you've got a smaller yard or you don't mind extension cords, 40 bucks will get the job done. It's nothing fancy. It's not doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it will get it done. Uh, the old uh, 19 or sorry, 10 by 17 foot portable garage for 174.99. This isn't terrible. It's not the best one out there. I think there's better ones on the market. You see these pop up at Costco and stuff all the time with a little bit better. They got the, some of those will even have like little windows in them. I saw one that had windows, had a little awning it came up there, had a door right there. It was great. You know, I'd much rather go with that. It was a little bit bigger. Uh, I think there's better solutions out than this thing. All right. Now we've got, going down the bottom of the page, there we go. And we've got the Pro Air Impact Wrench. If you're still running air, these are great everyday use kind of impact wrenches. Uh, $119.99, good luck trying to find a better impact wrench for twice the price. The full motion TV mount for $39.99 supports 130 pounds. I think that might be stating a bit much on that. The problem with these things, now this is a problem with all of them, not this one in general or specifically, is that they, they, they lever out from this base. So you're putting the fulcrum of the weight way out here. That's a big distance between here and here. You want to put smaller TVs on this, okay? You don't want to put your 60 or 70 inch TV on this. This is for putting a small TV like in a kid's room, your room, the, the kitchen, where you want to be able to push it up against the wall to get out of the way. And then when you watch it, you want to be able to pull it out and swivel it. Also good for RVs and trailers. All right. The 10 inch working platform step stool. I've made fun of this thing for so long. Like who needs it? And all the short people came out and said, you're just being a tallest. And that's probably true. Uh, and then I saw the, the, all the new pickup trucks. The, the, the hoods on these things are ridiculous. They're trying to make them look like semis. Uh, but not, not a bad little item to pick up. And then you get the two-tier stepladder also. That's something every kitchen should have. Honestly, we have something that's a little bit better, a little more beefier than that. You know, we got big bears in the house and stuff. Um, and if you're looking for a small wench for, say, the back of your pickup truck or for an ATV or something like that, help loading and stuff, this is a great way to go. 50 bucks. I've seen these at uh, sidewalk sales for pretty cheap. But uh, you can, I mean, $50 for, what does this thing do? 2,000 pounds, 2,500 pounds? That's, that's an easy one to do. All right. This saw, I know some of you like it. I say no. 
this is too small a saw for this platform for there you can do it you can do it but i'm not speaking to like you know you're trying to flex how macho you are and stuff that's great there's some people who can make it work for the general person for the average bear out there i'm gonna say no there's better deals out there than this saw that uh that one over at lowe's comes up there uh they're saw on a on a stand with a, a bigger working area and everything goes on sale for about 170 or so three or four times a year it it's just you're better off you know what you're better off with getting a circular saw and a straight edge that's what you're better off than this okay this thing 99 dollars. this is a three i heard that they're having problems with um finding these in stock somebody said franklin but then they said three one i think they meant this one maybe they're talking about a different one this is a great hand truck. Uh, and remember, look, it, it does the different uh, kind of platforms. You can go down to a dollar. You can do it at slanted. Work smart, not hard. Don't, don't, you know, don't kill your body so that when you're old, you're walking around like I am. Solar kit for 169 We've talked about this hundreds of times. It's a great DIYer kit. Get you started learning the basics for, uh, for solar. It's not the end-all, be-all, but it's not bad. And at that price, it's it's fun to play with. At least teach yourself something. And you can use the cells for all sorts of stuff. This thing, only for lighter people. For the misses, for the kids. If you're a big bear, you're going to say no. But for some people, they think it's okay. The uh, We did have an issue where the uh, one of the kids leaned on the table on the side of it, and it folded right up. I was quite surprised that it folded like that. Anyway... Uh, they're, they're a nifty little idea. I'd like to see them in a more full-size chair. I've got chairs of that style. They don't have the table on the side of the pocket. So I know it can be done. So let's go down here, see what we got. Message from Eric. What does Eric have to say to us? He says, it's never been easier to shop at Harbor Freight. With the recent opening of our 1000 certain Louisville, blah, 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 tools, hybrid customer prices, our commitment to provide you with quality tools at the lowest price has never been stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But low price, be sure to check out our new Icon storage. Imagine that. When I started this business with my dad in 77, I never thought we'd have 100 stores, let alone 1,000. I bet. You know, I never thought we'd have 50,000 subscribers to this channel. I just need to say a big thank you to all of you guys for the, the big, uh, if I can write here, 50K. Yeah, that looks like, I don't know, bok. As the kids would say, uh, the old chicken bok bok. Uh, you need occasional use around the house. Thank you for your support, for your encouragement, and for shopping at Harbor Freight. We're not stopping the thousand stores. We have more stores, more tools, more great deals headed your way. Sincerely, Eric. Thank you, Eric. And shut up, Moto. Moto's over here buzzing at me. All right, let's see what else we got here. 44 inch by 22 double bank extra deep cabinets for 449. Um, you know, I was just looking at these online. Let me check the price on that. Nope, that is the sale price. Yeah, the best coupon I think takes it down to 440. Maybe they meant 449, 430, 439. Anyway, there might be a coupon out there to take it down to another ten dollars below that. These are great cabinets for DIYers, small shops, additional cabinets. Guys, we've been talking a lot about the icon stuff. I like the icon stuff. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's well made. It's top of the line. Ninety percent of you don't need it. All right, it's a luxury item or it's a you know a super serious professional work piece it's not for most people even if you are a pro it probably might not be for you you need to consider is this something you need or is this something you want all right if you can say i need it great but just make sure you actually need it uh we got the bower 59.99 uh let's see here 20 volt uh, lithium ion impact driver kits these things are I, I was stunned at how good the bear was. Predator, two horsepower for 179 Anything with the word Predator in it, you can pretty much be assured it's going to have a really good motor behind it. Um, I, I I know, don't give me the no comments about motors or for electrical. I mean, eh, that's what I say to you. <laughs> eh. <laughs> if it says Predator, you can trust it. Liquidation sale on, here we go, 9mm. So the last ones are 5. This is 9mm. As you can see, much thicker, much uh, more sinister looking uh, <laughs> glove there. Anyway, if you need protection, oh my gosh, what did I do here? So anyway, there's the Predator and there's the power we were talking about. Anyway, if you need uh, that heavier level of protection, $9.99 for a pack of the 9mm gloves. You need gun electronic security safe. Not a safe, okay? 
DOJ compliant. It's not a safe. It is a security locking mechanism. This keeps prying hands out. This is only going to stop somebody from casual break-in or casual. It's going to keep the kids out of the safe. It's going to probably keep a crack addict who happened to break into the house and is trying to grab stuff quick and go. Somebody who's determined is going to get in this safe with basic hand tools. All right. Uh, here we go. The Battle Royale, Flux 125 versus Flux 125, Welder versus Welder, 999 versus 179.99. Th this is the welder you want, all right? There are mods you can do to make it like this welder. You're not going to get the power control. You're, you're not going to get the size, the lightness, the portability. Uh, you can put a bunch of work into it to get it close to this. Just by this, it's got a, everything about this is better. This is a great entry-level welder. Um, can you learn with this welder? Yes. Yes, you can. Can you do basic stuff with this welder? Yes, you can. Uh, I can tell you which welder I'll be keeping. That one. Um, hopefully we're going to be getting more welders in. I want to do some stick, do some MIG, maybe some, uh, some, uh, TIG at some point. Here we go again, talking about, uh, the, uh, the generators again, unless you need a generator right now, I strongly, strongly suggest you wait to a parking lot sale. They almost always seem to be, uh, having uh, big, big price discounts on the parking lot sales. Uh, the 13 horsepower, horsepower horizontal shaft gas engine for 329. Um, horizontal means it has a shaft coming out this way rather than this way. And that'd be a vertical shaft. Uh, 329. This, these things are again, predator. They're, they're, they're great. You know, the oldest cub and I are wanting to build some go-karts. So we may be picking up something like that. That might be a little overkill for his first goal go-kart, but you know, maybe Papa Bear wants to ride in it too. Uh, good, better, and we talk often talk about good, better, and best, but this one is not better. This one would be, uh, betterist. <laughs> All right. So what we got here is we got the old tried and true Chicago electric. This one was a decent, um, uh, a decent air compressor, and it still is a decent, inexpensive air compressor, but the buy it now price on that is not that. There should be a coupon out it that takes it below 150. All right. This one at 174, uh, there should be a coupon out that takes off another $10 off of that. Trust me, if you had these two compressors, or if you had this compressor, and somebody said, uh, for $25, I will sell you a kit that will give you all the features of this compressor, you would jump at it in a heartbeat. It's a decent compressor for the price, but you put up with a lot because there's nothing else that has this performance at that price. This has almost and everything this has, and it's got easy to read knobs. It's got a protected air cover. It's got an easier release valve. Everything about this thing is nicer. You want this compressor. Trust me. This one, if you're doing not everyday kind of stuff, like once or twice a week, oilless has gotten way better than it used to be. Uh, I've had all these compressors. Uh, now I now have this one, and I have the Fortress, and they're both oilless. So... All right, moving on. All right, I know we got to pick up the pace here, right? 72 triple bank, $1,000. I got to be careful that ink is showing through. The, if you're a pro, this is probably the, the, um, the bank, uh, the bank, the, 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 <laughs> the cabinet you want to go with. Um, if you need a hutch, if you need the higher level, then you can get the icon, but you can do, you know, as I say, the cabinet doesn't make you money. The tools make you money. Daytona 189. There, there, that's, if you're looking for a high quality three ton uh, rapid pump jack, th this is it right there. And that's the price, 189. I think there may be one that comes down $10 cheaper to 179. 99 cents. Well, we don't see a lot of these free anymore. Maybe next summer we'll see more free stuff on this. But I got to tell you, these, you should have one of these at every workstation in the shop at 99 cents. That's, that's a definite pickup. And here we're talking about the compressors again. Here we are again, 124 versus 124. Really? Really? I don't think that's usually cheaper than that. Uh, but again, this is going to have everything you wish this had. Uh, there's almost no reason anymore to be going with the black air compressors because the blue ones 
have it all. It's just more refined. It's a better compressor. It's a little bit quieter. You're going to want it. Uh, here we go. Oh, look at this. They're comparing the old, uh, is this the Chicago Electric? Yep, Chicago Electric Multi-Tool Variable Speed versus the Hercules Variable Speed. If you aren't doing a, using a multi-tool as like one of your primary tools, this will do the job. This will. There's just no question about it. Variable Speed, it's, it's a vibrating tool head. I've used, I have two or three of these things. I've got this one, the old Chicago Electric Pro or whatever it is, and I've got this one. They will do that up. This one will get us hot. This one runs better. This one's more ergonomic. This one's uh, easier to use. It's got the chuckless, or not the chuckless, but the, the toolless exchange of the, for the heads, which, oh my gosh, <laughs> I love having it. Is it worth $75? For 90% of people, I'm going to say no. For people who are serious about using multi-tools and use them a bunch, that toolless uh, changer is as a game changer. All right, let's see what else we got. Remember, I said about getting a straight edge. Here's your straight edge for twelve ninety nine. Lights, the brawn. You know, I actually really like these lights. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. The wifey kids just brought me a drink. She's so sweet. Uh, the brawn fifteen hundred rechargeable light. These things, I I love them. I know somebody else was saying that they weren't uh, excited by them. I'm totally excited by it. I got the little portable one. Uh, if you saw in our live stream, not this past week, but the week before we used it, lasted forever. You can use it as a power bank. I don't know if this one works as a power bank, but having it rechargeable means that you can take it and put it places you couldn't. Take it out. You know, we've used stuff like this out in the street for kids playing at night, uh, you know, to help, you know, keep you know keep them from getting run over. We take it out to the desert, stuff like that. There, You can light up all sorts of stuff. They're, they're phenomenal to have around. You should have two or four of these around the house. Uh, here we got the 20-volt the impact wrench, 3 8 impact wrench for $69.99. If you're a DIY or home user and you and you want to turn wrenches and work on cars and stuff at home, this is this is a great set to get because you can get the 3 8 you can get the half inch. $69.99 for uh, an impact wrench like that is, is a steal. And I can tell you, I'm I really like the Bauer stuff. It's it's not the pro level, it's not the throw it off, you know, a four-story building kind of stuff. But for the average user who wants something a little bit better than, you know, and doesn't want to go corded, that's a great th tool to have. But consider corded. How often do you use it? Consider corded then. Maybe you're going to get a lot more power out of it. Uh, let's see here. Lynx 20 volt or 40 volt blower for $124.99. The Lynx systems, from everyone who's told me that they're great, I've not heard anything negative about them. Uh, they, uh, they seem like a great system. I have not had a chance to use it, to be honest, so I'm passing on secondhand knowledge there. I know, I know. Let's talk grinders. We got good, better, and best. Here's where we talk about it. When you hear the, what I talk about, sorry, the AC just kicked in a little loud. So we got good. That's your consumer grade. You got best. That's your pro grade. You put your consumer with your pro, your pro with your consumer, you got chocolate, my peanut butter, peanut butter, my chocolate. You get prosumer. Prosumer is the tool for somebody who's uses does stuff more often around the house. They do a lot more projects. Maybe it's a hobby for them, and they want a better graded tool, but they don't quite need that graded tool. Or it's for the pro who's young, just getting started, and they need tools, but they they need reliable tools, but they can't afford the higher end stuff. Or it's for the pro who this is a secondary tool for. All right. It's not part of their primary toolkit. And, you know, it, since it's corded, you know, you don't have to be tied into that system. Hey, I'm all Milwaukee, but I'm using something corded. If it's not the best tool and it's not your primary tool, why are you buying it? You don't need to buy it. It's not going to plug into your battery system. Don't be stuck with a brand. $19.99. So basically $20, $30, $60. All right. These, uh, I've not used either of these. I have used this one. I've not had a problem with any of the grinders I've used from Harbor Freight. A lot of people in the chat said they've used these and they love them. I know one guy who has this one. He says it's a beast and he's super glad he bought it. Just passing on what, you know, if you if you don't stop by the Sunday night uh, Tool Talk Live, then you're missing out. You got to stop by and uh, you can ask questions, get questions answered. We talk about tools. We talk about family, finance. Uh, usually end up talking about food and uh, 
other things that YouTube doesn't want people to discuss or they'll demonetize your channel. Um, Bauer. Again, when I was talking about corded versus cordless, this is corded. It, it's, I hate, honestly hate cordless sanders. They eat through batteries so fast. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. It's a decent, uh, it's a decent sander. I've used one. It's great. I've got the detail sander in this. I love it. Uh, the Hercules Impact. You know, I've got this one. The new price forty-four ninety-nine. This is, of course, where does it say it's going to say it? Right. Tool only. All right. That means you got to supply your own batteries. But that's the whole new thing about the the Hercules. If you haven't seen my video on Hercules, go back and watch it. We talk about all the new announcements. The 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 re branding if you will of hercules the all new molding the insides haven't changed just the exterior but also the way they're selling them has changed and that's a big deal hose reels you've heard me preach hose reels hose reels will make your workshop clean they get it uncluttered it's a safety thing and it's just nice to have man do you need a 170 dollars one no this is earthquake this is for pros they make less expensive ones if you're serious in a shop though this is a good one to get all metal construction four guide reels everything you need zurich 79.99 this is a prosumer grade this is for the guy who's at home getting a little bit more serious or guy who's doing you know work out of his garage or a small shop and just needs to read basic or semi-advanced codes this is what they're looking at here for most people you're not going to need something like this and for the truly advanced you're going to want to get a good tablet code reader and stuff but this will get get you through in the middle there the folding Heavy duty trailer there for 259, 260 there. Man, I've wanted to get one of these for the longest time. And you know, I left my other trailer up in Montana because there's no place to store it here. If I had one of these, I could have brought it back. Alright, we got the the better versus the best. I'm glad they took out the other one. Because the other one they had in here, uh, their cheaper one that they've got is a um, uh, which we called it's a light duty it's a seven and a half inch sub 10 inch uh, or 10 inch or less sorry uh, actually I think it's sub 10 inch anyway it's it's not up to the same caliber these will both do 12 inch uh, sliding miter saws there's, there's nothing wrong with this one nothing wrong this one's just easier to work with it's got better features it it it's easier to move out the stops and everything it's it's just nicer all the way around to work with and for $50 more, I will say this is a luxury purchase, but it's a luxury that you're going to really like if you can afford it. Bauer Hammer. I've not used one of these. A bunch of guys have come, commented that they use these things all the time. This is also one of the items I'd say look for in the, the return section of the store at the parking lot sale. Not because they're bad. These don't get returned because they're bad. They get returned because people need it for one job. And they don't want to rent it. They're cheap and they're scum. So they go out they buy one knowing Harbor Freight will take the return. So they buy it, use it for the job, and return it. Now that ends up in the open box section. And on parking lot sales, that means you win. Uh, chains we talked about, they're not bad. This thing, if you need a, uh, a, a jump starter and, and power pack for $70, that thing is great. Uh, the Viking stuff, all the Viking stuff is pretty good. All right, I know. We're getting long in the tooth here brushless chainsaw again part of the lynx package the lynx is the serious outdoor kind of stuff as opposed to the bower which is the more homeowner kind of stuff uh i i, I don't get the understanding of, of the bower i mean i know what it does this is a drain cleaner 23 foot uh corded and they're coming out with a cordless one as well again more of the security lights 39.99 half inch impact uh wrench Thirty-seven ninety-nine. If you're on a budget, this only does two hundred thirty pounds, foot pounds of torque. If you're on a budget, and need some light duty stuff. This will get the job done. It's not great. It's not fantastic, but it will get the job done. You may want to consider picking up the uh, the warranty on that one. Nine thousand pound electric winch with remote control for two sixty. Seriously, that's that's just a great deal. Uh, the consumables, the new Warrior consumables, they're not bad. A lot of the consumables Harbor Freight's been coming out with have been really stepping up the game. Uh, this, I hate that generator, sorry. Tank heater. $10 off tank. This is a, a thing that attaches to a propane tank, turns it into a space heater. You need ventilation to use this. Every year, someone kills themselves and often their family 
by trying to heat a house with one of these. It's not for indoor heating. If you use it in a shop, have a window open or something, you need it. It does produce off-gassing carbon monoxide, and uh, you need to have ventilation. All right, impact sets, 37 piece, three eighths and half inch impact for twenty dollars. If you're looking for a get started right now set for twenty dollars, you need to get that. Variable speed scroll stuff for eighty dollars. It's not a bad tool, but you know what? I'm gonna say no because. My gosh, you can almost always pick up an old school, like an old Craftsman or an old Delta, like 22, 24 inch throat, just beast of a scroll saw for 40 bucks on, on uh, Craigslist. I'll tell you, two or three weeks of watching it and you will find one. This is another one of the things where people are like, I thought you were full of it, Bear. You went, I went and checked on it and sure enough, there were three in my area. It's the best tool I have in the shop. It's, it's a beast. All right, let's see here. Uh, jump starter. Some people said this is good. I've not used it, but if you're gonna, if you need to jump start cars often, that's what you're gonna want. This thing. Don't look into the light. This is stupid bright. It's a great camp light for sixteen ninety nine. This is a great tarp. You know, I, I tried the blue tarps on. Are great for something sitting, yeah, uh, sitting on the ground, not moving. They're decent. If it's moving or high winds or anything like this, you need the better, higher gauge tarps. It's like the, the gloves. They have different thicknesses. You want to get the better ones. And again, here we go. An SDX, uh, SDX Max uh, variable speed rotary hammer for 100 bucks. Check out the open box. The, the, the sale's coming up. I know they probably don't want you telling you, don't open it or don't buy it right now. Go to the group. Yeah, the parking lot sales. Twin Dunn Shop Press. I see this all the time. All the time for sale. You got to get one. Vulcan welding helmet. I, I've got one of these. Man, I love using it. I've, I had a, uh, a Miller helmet before this. And uh, it was not auto darkening. And I feel like I've been living <laughs> in the dark ages. Uh, 12 tool pocket with bag 599. These things are great. I use them for all sorts of stuff. Anytime I'm, I'm going somewhere. I carry camera equipment, fishing equipment, uh, projects, all sorts of stuff. Somebody needs me to go fix them. This is the bag I grab to take my stuff in, or or bags. I use them for everything. One inch steel bandits. These I have a bunch of these. These things are great. You should have a dozen or so of these around the shop. Uh, grinding disc, seventy nine cents. I've used them. They're not terrible. These right here, six inch quick release bar clamp, two nineteen. Do you have any clamps or too many clamps? It's a trick question. There's no such thing. This is a, I, I use these things for all sorts of stuff. I love these clamps. You can take the little uh, rubber pads of them off. You can use it as a welding clamp. Uh, they're fantastic. You can do all sorts of mods. There's mods on online you can look up for them. Definitely want to get 25% all axes. Think about it. What month is it? It's October. And they're doing 25% off all axes. Getting ready for Halloween here. Like we got knives, machetes, screwdrivers, and axes. Oh my gosh! It's the Halloween section. I lo I love these li knives, by the way. Uh, these are junk, but they will get the job done if you need something cheap. Uh, this is a really cheap machete. Click type torque wrench, eleven ninety nine. Uh, these are great to have around the shop for just basic stuff. If you need to. Not, you're not going to torque down the space shuttle with these, but if you're working on a, a basic engine, something like that, uh, you know, just stuff that is not scientific rated, the torque settings have a margin of error to it. These are not the most scientific things, but they're if you if you calibrate them, you store them properly, they'll do the job just fine. Uh, security set. I pick up one of these to have around just in case when I run across oddball stuff. If you use stuff all the time, you're not going to like it. It's not high, you know, they're not super hard bits. that They will wear out fast. But for the occasional piece where you don't want to be tearing your, your hair out, you want one of these. The solar rope light, again, mood lighting. Uh, American flag not available, I think, in Wisconsin or Minnesota or something because it's not made in the U.S. All right, let's jump through some of this. I know I'm getting behind. Is this the high flow blowout kit? Is that the new Merlin? The Merlin one. I got to tell you, the old uh, air accessories, the central pneumatic air accessories were junk. 
man, I think they had like a 25% failure rate. I hated working with those things. The new Merlin stuff is, uh, as they say, as the kids say these days, the bee's knees. And let's see here. I, I love this nail gun. I know a lot of people don't like it. It does leave a little indentation because it's a dual stapler slash nailer. But for twenty dollars, it's it's the bomb diggity, as the even kiddier kids say. Seven piece combination ratcheting set. This is a nice basic set for twenty dollars. It, it it's nothing fancy, but for twenty dollars. And I gotta say, I people ask me, do you like regular ratcheting? I'm getting old. I'm getting lazy. I want ratcheting wrenches. All wrenches should be ratcheting wrenches. Okay, I'm not really saying that, but it's, it sounds good, right? It's a good sound bite. Here we go. More of the Braun lights. This is the one I have. $24.99. Man, I cannot say enough about this light. I love it. This one, this is great also. I'm, I'm going to be getting these. There, there's just no doubt. I, I need to pick these up uh, and do a light comparison test because these things are amazing. Uh, I've seen some videos of these, people using them. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm on the fence about those things. They get crossbars finally for $60. Seems a bit pricey, but what do I know? There's the tool cart. Remember, this bar right here, that's interchangeable. You can swap it over to the other side. People were con concerned that if you had it there, you can't open the side of your cart. I think they just show it on this side so you can see it. Uh, I don't know why they don't change the angle. Uh, marketing people, right? What are you going to do? Can't live with them. Boss gets pissed off when you eat them. And they give you indigestion. Let's be honest. The blower. I do not have this blower in uh, in house, but I have the um, the Bauer one. And I can tell you, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with it. And it doesn't even have this nice little attachment extension hose on it. Um... This thing, I you've seen my video on this, right? You see, if you haven't, go back and check it. This is a great sawzall. Sorry, reciprocating saw. I know I'm old. I'm old. I'm supposed to say sawzalls and what knife. And I have not checked out the Quinn uh, uh, screwdriver set. I will get into that. I promise. I'll take a look at it. Here is the new fortress. I'm sorry. I I absolutely love my two gallon fortress. I will tell anybody who's looking for something even near to that price range to buy it. This one, $400 is too much. There's a Cobalt one out there that is almost the same specs for a lot less. Oh, there's the, the, the Warrior fits up to 10 inch saws. That's the smaller one I was talking about. Thank you for moving that Harbor Freight. I appreciate it. Tool Creeper. If you're under a car and you need to take your tools with you, this is a great thing to have. This is... This is why, why do I have one of these? That's what I want to know. This thing. Oh my gosh. I use it all the time. All the time. There is a coupon out. Takes it down to $99. So it's cheaper than this. Uh, and oh, oh my gosh. I cannot talk about it. I just used it for welding. I use it for cutting. Uh, I use it as a table for stuff. There's, you got to have one of these. I sold my, my jaw horse uh, because I, I, cause I'm an idiot. And I was like, well, I don't really need two of them. So I sold my jaw horse and immediately regretted it. You you do want two of these uh, or something that will act similar to it. And you can use this one for clamping the other one for propping up the other side. But I think two is the is the uh, the number that you want to have. Um, and at $100, it fixes. It's got it's got better feet, uh, better locking. Uh, it's got a, a, a tension thing right there. It's got a handle right here. It's just like the jaw horse. Uh, it's like the jaw, jaw horse version 1.5. They took all everyone's feedback from what they didn't like get back to jaw horse and they fixed it. All right, Bauer. I I want to try this new shop vac. I've not had a chance to try it. Um, what else? I have this. I, I if you're already in the Bauer, this you don't buy it for this, okay? If you're in the Bauer system, you want to get one of these. It's great. I've blown. I've cleared off my entire driveway, the shop. Puts out way more air than I thought it would. I still want to try these. Haven't got a chance to try this, but we I'll get around to it. I promise. I know people are always like, Barry, you need to try this. Barry, you need to try this. Remember, my post office box is... <laughs> now, the point is, you know what? If, if you want me to try something, I, I hate to be rude, but you know, donate money to the channel. It, there's only so much I... I mean, I'm not rolling in the dough. If you think 
that I'm like one of these YouTube millionaires, you're sadly mistaken. Or I wish I was. Boy, do I wish I was. Uh, I would love to try out everything you guys suggest. I just don't have the time or money to do so. Here we go. Good, better, best. Say it with me. Consumer, pro, prosumer. All right. And that's where they put this new Diablo. I have the Diablo hose. I don't have the Diablo reel. I've tried this one. I thought it was fine, to be honest. But this one with the Diablo hose, uh, yeah. I mean, for the price difference, it's, it's that's a lot of this prosumer grade stuff at Harbor Freight. That basically what they've done is they've taken the consumer stuff, fixed what everyone quipped about was bad and whatnot, and basically just barely budged, uh, nudged the price up. And it's almost hard for me to ever recommend the, the base level stuff. So it's almost always this middle of stuff. This is if you need it. If you need it. I'm rarely ever going to tell you that this is the one you have to get. All right. And all the way down the And is this, I'll say this. No, no. Uh, no. And only if you're running a nailer and you don't have more money to go with the fortress. Sorry. I'm going to say no, get that. And I'm going to say no, get that. And this is not bad. This right here, this is, this is not a bad compressor at all. 29 gallon, 150 PSI, air delivery, belt driven system. It's decent. So is the 62 two stage. But I'm going to say no and get the cobalt, the big blue K. Um, there's a cobalt one out that if you go back and look at my what air compressor to buy video, that's the one you want to get. Here we go. Merlin stuff on Merlin. Anything Merlin. We got 10% cash back. Any compressor, Fortress McGraw. Or central pneumatic. If it's not already on sale, you get 10% off. The Fortress stuff. The one gallon at 150. I bet two gallon. There's a cheaper. There, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it here for you. Bear with me. Air tools. Air compressors and tanks. Then we're coming over here to Fortress. One gallon, two gallon. Yep. Here's the two gallon. Now let me tab over here. See if I can show it to you. Boom, there we go. $159.99. There's a coupon out there for it. At $160. It's it's so much so much better, so much more refined. It for for a homeowner you're not running air powered tools so what do you unless you're running uh you're doing automotive paint or high-end automotive air tools you don't need a large capacity compressor you just don't these things are super quiet they run great they're easy to use they're portable you can even pressure them up take them with you because they're so small and you now you got two gallons of air with you for 150 dollars. now if you are a pro and you're running nailers and stuff that four gallon this five gallon these are continuous run run two nailers, two flooring, two roofing nailers off of it. It'll keep going. Good, better, best. Again, unless you're just cash strapped to the nines, you're going to want the McGraw. And this one, I'm going to say no. I think it's too much. I think you got to go with the Cobalt. I think Harbor Freight needs to come down a bit on that price. The McGraws are fabulous. The lesser expensive Fortresses are fabulous. All right. Um... The whole automatic gr grease gun, I am glad to see them come up with this because the current grease guns, their base model ones, suck. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. Merlin, I, I, I've got this. I've got that. I got that. I got that. Um, the I, I, lo I got some of the couplers too, the high flow couplers. They're just fabulous. So much better than their old stuff. Baxter, have not had a chance to try this. I don't do a lot with air tools, guys. They're just, unless you're like, if you notice, these are all like body tools mostly for doing body work on cars. If you're not doing a ton of body work on cars, there are electrical versions of these or corded versions of these that you can do the same work with. Uh, I'm just not the bear to talk about air tools. 
All right. Impacts. Here we go. Earthquake versus Snap-on. I don't know about that. I've not used the Air uh, Snap-on. I do have this one. It's fantastic. Um, I've not tried any of these. Everyone I know who's used these, though, thinks they're great. I will say this. That's junk. Um, that's the only one of these that I've used. But this this is light duty at best. 250 pounds. You see what, see what I mean there? And here we go. We got the 3 8 half inch and now 3 quarter inch in the uh, in the um, Earthquake XT line. And I know tons and tons of mechanics, guys, especially guys who are starting their own shops who are going with these. They get the extended warranty on it. Think about that. It's, it's like, you know, I'm going to do a video here coming up talking about some of the, the fleet brands of tools where you buy a tool, you don't actually buy it, you lease it because it comes with a comes with a service plan. Well, when you buy that two-year plan, it's like doing that. You buy into it at 279 plus the, that, and then every two years, you essentially replace it, or once every year or something. And for those people who think that Harbor Freight's never going to do brushless tools, they've leaked it right here, all right? This has been out for a while. They already have brushless. Brushless is coming. It's going to take a while to get there, but they, they do have brushless tools coming. Here's a tool that I love and hate at the same time. It's both of these tools. You know why? Because they're 12 volt. They're 12 volt and they're not 12 volt like the Hercules. They're not 12 like anything else. These are the only two tools in this line. Harbor Freight, you got to fix this. I honestly would wish they would pull that tool in line, uh, refund everybody's money who bought these, and come out with one that's compatible with the Hercules 12 volts. I know it's not going to happen, but they, I mean, they're great tools. They're great tools. There's just only two tools in the in the power line. Uh, and here we've got Pittsburgh Impacts. Impact, Impact, Impact. I have this. Uh, I've used these. I've had these. I, I gave them away when I got other sets just because I turned through sets to see how I like them. I know pros who use the Pittsburgh uh, Impact sets. There, there's just no two ways about it. They work. And they have a lifetime warranty. And if you have a problem, you walk into a store, you slap them down, they give you a new one. It doesn't get any simpler than that. It, it's just really... I had I had somebody try to tell me, well, you know, people get killed by those impacts. Oh my gosh, making up bigger and bigger fish stories every year to justify why you got suckered on paying too much. Okay, 24 quarters Hercules is back. I don't, I'm not going to say the name of the guy who started that rumor that Hercules was getting discontinued. Uh, I've been saying it for, for months and months that no, it's just a, a rebranding, if you will. They're changing. They're going to a flat back design here on these these tools. The the um, In fact, this isn't even the picture. I don't think this is the right picture of the pro drill driver and the hammer. The hammer drill still looks like that, but this is a flat back now. Maybe it's just the angle. Um I have, I have everything except for the uh, the job site saw or job site sorry the job site blower. Thrilled, just absolutely thrilled with all of them and the new pricing. That's tool only pricing, of course. The new pricing is fabulous. There's a better coupon out than than that. I think it takes it down quite a bit actually. So I would definitely look into that. Love that saw. Love this saw. This is this is my number one used tool. I I never this is the tool I never knew I needed until I got it and now I don't, don't know how I lived without it. The 12 volt system. So this is a standard uh, battery uh, charger and this is an actual rapid charger, not like the Dewalt rapid charger that comes with the base system or any other you know alleged rapid charger. This is a real rapid charger for twenty five dollars. It does both systems. 20 volt, 5 The I don't know why it says 60 bucks here. I'm pretty sure the price on that is $50. They didn't raise the price, did they? I'm going to be miffed. You're going to see a miffed tool bear here in a minute. Power tools, drills and drivers. Hercules. Price online. <laughs>
I'm not sure what they're talking about. Because the price online currently says $39.99 with no coupons. That's the 20 volt max 5 point amp hour. Is this a different one? 20 volt 5 point amp hour battery. What is, what's the deal? You better not raise the price because we like it at $40. If you raise that price, we're going to be miffed. Um, yeah, that's a that's a painful price there. Don't don't pay that price. Yeah, just go away there. Anyway, now when you can buy these at battery with that with tool only, if you already have this system, now if you want to pick this up as an add-in to the system, and I, I can definitely see making that call. Uh, this tool alone, if you already have a Hercules system, this tool you want to pick up. All right. The Bauer system, but if you're a homeowner, if you're an average homeowner, this is the system you want to get. All right, I go back and forth between this system and the the Ryobi system. I'm not I'm not particularly a fan of the Ryobi. Uh, for the warranty, you have to send stuff off rather than just taking it back to the store. This is a great system. It's almost it, you know the Ryobi is like oh we have way more tools than anybody else, but you know, a lot of them are repeats. They have like four or five different weed trimmers. That doesn't mean, just because you stutter doesn't mean you've got a bigger vocabulary. And the, this system is excellent. And for 90% of the people probably on this channel, for stuff at home, this will get everything done you need to do. We've got an impact, an impact driver. We've got uh, a drill driver. We've got a hammer drill, sorry, hammer drill, drill driver, impact wrench, 3 8 impact wrench, Angle grinder, circ saw, jigsaw, recip saw, work light, blower, sander, vacuum. We use this vacuum. It picks up dog hair. This thing's great. Detail sander, right angle. Uh, the radio. I've okay. So I've got that. I've got that. Uh, I got this one. I got this one. I got that. Uh, let's see what else. I uh, got that one. Got that, I got that, and I got that. I've not had any problems with any of these. They've done every job I've thrown at it. Oh, and I also have all of those. And this. The only thing I would say is I wish their battery prices were cheaper, com comparable to the Hercules, but I understand with the Hercules, you're paying up front for the, for the privilege of getting the cheaper batteries. On this one, you're not getting quite a discount because you're getting much cheaper tools here. But for a homeowner, I... This is a full power line. There, you can do about everything with this. They're, they're excellent. If you heard me say I had the detail sander before, I think I mentioned it was corded. That's why I didn't check those off. Oh, man. All right, let's go through this. Okay, drill master, that's a no. Um, this thing, I'm going to say no. Uh... The Warrior set. There needs to be more tools before I can recommend it. There just has. It's not bad. There just needs to be more tools. before. They need to have more than a drill and a flashlight before I can recommend it to people. I'm sorry, Harbor Freight. I love you guys. You know I do. But this is tough love. The friends friends need to say when, when friends are falling down, right? We talked about the, the multi-tools. Uh, I've used the fine. I would take this over the fine. I've used this, nearly burned my, you know what, off. It got so hot. I will take this over that any day of the week. But you can do with either of these. If you need variable speed or single speed, you can get away with just using these. Grinders. Grinder, grinder, grinder. This is my favorite right here. Love that grinder. And now, is this a new one? Because I don't remember there being an 8-inch with the gooseneck lamp. Because if there is, then I would definitely get that one. People ask if there's a Harbor Freight version of the Fest Tool Domino. That's it right here. I don't know how good it is, uh, but that's what it is. It is the Fest Tool Domino version from Harbor Freight. Uh, vices. I know Harbor Freight has. I've got this vice right here, sitting right behind me over there. It's fine for average stuff. Don't put a wrench on 
this. If you can't tighten it by hand tight enough, then you need a different tool. Don't put a wrench on it. You won't break the jaws. <sighs> They're not, these are not high end. That's why it costs $17. It's to hold something basic. It's like buying a Honda and going, well, I lost in a race to a Ferrari. Well, you were in a Honda. Honda's for going to the grocery store, going to your job, getting work done. All right, moving on. This is the one you want. That's all there is to it. If you don't get that, you're sad. No, nah, okay. This is the one most people want. I have the Hercules. Man, I love it. I do. I didn't pay for it. As a homeowner, if I was just buying it as a homeowner, I would get the Admiral. I started this channel because of this tool, because people were saying this tool was horrible and that it couldn't get stuff done. I'm like, I've got it. I'm doing that stuff. I do it every day. I cut square, not a problem. All day long. It's one of the reasons I started this channel. I would not buy this again because they stopped putting a blade with it. And this one is just so much better. That's not the price you want. Go out and find a better coupon. It should be around 170 bucks. If you are serious, $300 is the, the buy it now price. There should be a coupon out somewhere. It comes with a one-year warranty. Just, just brilliant saw. All right. That's a hell no. Uh, I would say this one right here, 379 that's not fair. They... DeWalt has felt the heat from Hercules. As soon as this was was hinted that it was going to get launched, they dropped the price. It just fell like off a cliff. All right? But don't don't come to me. This is a 7480. Don't be posting to the channel about how I bought my DeWalt for blah, 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 money. Blah, blah. And I'm like, well, it's the 740. Well, no, it's the 749, but it's the same thing. It's not the same saw. It's not even close. It's not the same motor. It's not the same gears. And it won't cut the same size sheet of plywood. It's not the same saw. Don't be telling me your fish stories. We can all see it. It's the thing. You're online. You're typing it. It's not like you can come back later and say, well, you didn't hear me right. We can go back and look at what you said. Oh, fanboys drive me nuts. Nuts. Central machinery. Yes, there are coupons out that no longer that say you can no longer get this stuff with the coupon. There are still coupons out that they will honor depending on the manager. And this is this is not a bad basic beginner sander, okay? I bought the sander. I think I paid like 60 bucks for it uh, on sale and everything. Turned around, sold it when I got the, the wind sander, which I love, but the price has gone up on that. And But if you take care of it, you can sell it for pretty. If you buy it cheap, you may lose $5 on it. That's like renting a sander for three years for five bucks, okay? Belt sander. I know a ton of knife makers who use this sander. It's excellent. Spindle sander. No. They're, the Get 150, spend a, it'll be more money, but you'll be able to combine the belt sander and this sander into one with either the Ryobi or the Win. There's a bunch of other knockoffs out there that do it. Go look at my King of Belt Sanders uh, video. This thing. There are tons of old school woodworkers who still use these to this day. Uh, and the six by 48, this is actually a beast of a sander, uh, at 250, it's often overlooked. It does need to get tuned. Any stationary tool has to get adjusted. When you set it up, you have to tune the tool and that's not one knob. You're going to spend a couple hours getting this thing completely plumb and ready to go. Just and that's any stationary tool. They're not appliances. It's not a toaster. You don't take it out of the box, plug it in and use it. You got to work with it. Okay. Speaking of which, drill press, drill press, drill press. Oh my gosh. Harbor Freight has probably the best drill presses, bang for the buck. The only one who comes close is the Wind Digital Adjustable Drill Press. Uh, just pick your poison. I'm going to be doing a project later this year with this thing to prove that you can do detail, fine, uh, in useful work with that thing. I, I've had these for years. I have my, but I have two of them. I have this one, and I have the, the six inch, or sorry, eight inch, and I have. This one right here, I have the 17 inch, 16 speed, heavy duty drill press for $400. I did not pay near that. I got it at a parking lot sale. I paid $125. Not trying to flex on you. I'm just saying, listen to the bear, 
Follow the, the Harbor Freight rules. Go watch the Ten Commandments on Harbor Freight, and uh, you too will be getting deals like that. Uh, somebody asked me about these lathes. My understanding, now, I'm not a professional woodworker. I work with wood. I'm not a woodworker. Somebody I know, who, a couple people I know who are woodworkers said this is an exact copy of an old jet lathe. And you will see guys go to Lumberjack. Stuff, you'll see guys with 20, 30 years woodworking experience who have this as their lathe. They've got set it up, tuned up, done some mods to it. The price you can get these for, if you get that coupon and whatnot, is way cheaper. And they're just, they're basic. They're simply, they've been around for decades, all right? Go online. Look at this. This this bandsaw right here, three hundred seventy-four dollars. With the twenty-five percent off coupon, if you can still find a store that'll take it, gets that below three hundred dollars. I'm a huge, huge, just over the moon, you know, fan bear for Grizzly stuff. Yeah, it's Grizzly, and we're related, and you know, he's that cousin who did better than you did. But we're not gonna talk about that. All right. Because we're polite company, you won't bring that up again. Point being, they the Grizzly is better than this in every way. It's also a six or seven hundred dollar saw with shipping and everything. If you can find one used, I found mine at a garage sale, a year old with an extension for three hundred fifty dollars. That's that's like winning the lottery. That's like getting a scratch off. For th you can at this point uh, getting that below three hundred dollars, you can spend another hundred dollars in mods on this thing to bring it up to a really decent saw not a top of the line not a this kicks everyone's butt not better than a grizzly but a decent saw and it's one of the things like when you're poor when you're on a budget sometimes you have to start low and work your way up as i was teaching the cubs about stuff like that uh i don't have any experience with the harbor freight routers not going to talk about them if you do feel free to comment down below let us know what you think i've heard lots of guys say that they like them okay we just gotta say it that's it, it's tradition we gotta say it it's a nailer. It's called Pierce. <laughs> that dude's awesome. <laughs> Whoever named it is awesome. These are all great nailers. Pick the one you want in the price you can afford. If you're a pro, prosumer, just average Joe. Okay? All right. 10% off Admiral Sanding Discs. Somebody, I've, sorry, I don't have that on camera very well. Somebody commented before. That the that this and by the way this is code number four nine one zero five five two nine in case you can't see that a lot of places you can just tell them the code number they'll type it in. Um, somebody said recently uh, several people have told me that these things are great. Harbor Freight actually asked me if I wanted to tr test them. I'm like sanding paper, no, I'll pass. Apparently I should have taken them up on it because they seem to be kicking butt. Uh, here's the thing. Actually, I take it back. It's not the Bauer uh, sander I have. I have the little Warrior digital, digital uh, detail sander. It, it works just fine. If you do see, check out my video on uh, redoing the old signal core box. I used it on that. Again, woodworkers around the world say this is probably the best uh, dust filter system, uh, dust collection system to pick up and mod. They convert it to a two-stage you place this with a, a garbage can down here. You get rid of this, pump it outside or into a better filter. You do not want a five micron filter. It's not good enough. And they're hard for not the only one. Jet sells these. Everyone sells these. You want something better. Uh, the Bauer. When this goes on sale, if there's a coupon out there, the sale price on this is $250. And at that price, this is the best planer you can get for that's not the dewalt 500 dollar blah 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 planer why because they're all pretty much the same at under 500 dollars. they all look like the same came out of one or two factories and, and the difference is they're either they either have two bars see one two or they have one bar this is a two bar the drum is almost the same you can see that it's almost the same on all of these and i think this has got a granite or whatever anyway the the plate down here is is nice as well um all right jumping through we talked about the bauer stuff here we go this is this is the old the old blue harbor freight chicago electric this is their old pro level so this used to be the consumer prosumer pro um for around the house this is just fine these i i would i would get the i would i would buy something if you need something pro level i would get them use milwaukee um Cement mixer. Lots of people chimed in and said they love their cement mixer, and it runs like a top. All right, we're going to whiz through some of this here. 
Pittsburgh, Quinn, Doyle, and Bremen. Good, better, best. Bremen, I don't really have Be Bremen in here. Oh, because it's part of the double best because it's the locking stuff versus the... The Pittsburgh stuff is cheap. Do not buy these. The grips slip off them. If you do buy them, take the grips off. They're worthless. Uh, the Bremen stuff, or Quinn stuff, is not bad. I, I like the Doyle. I've got the needle nose. I've got the... Uh, the crimping tool, and I got the linesman. Um, I do not have the jaw players, and I've got other stuff too. I've got, I was showing some people last night, you know, some of the oldest tools I have. I've got, I know I need to clean them up. I got some old channel locks. Uh, I've got an old set of, of Klein, you know, uh, pliers. Shut up, Moto. He's just sitting there buzzing away. Anyway, let's keep going. Clamps, yes, yes. These are decent little spring clamps. I mean, they're just for clipping stuff together, not really a clamp. Heck no. Sorry if I hurt your feelings, but heck no. Uh, we talked about that stuff. We're not going to talk about painters this week. You know, I'm going to try and skip around. We're going to do different uh, stuff. We'll save painters for the next coupon cover. Ron light. This light right here. Uh, there's, when it's on sale at 20 bucks, it's not a bad deal. There are linkable ones you can get on Amazon for about the same price, and there's cheaper ones you can get at Costco when they're in stock. Does, somebody won't take a hint there, will they? This, I was excited and then disappointed when this came out. This is their 12-foot, 16-color LED tape light with power and control and everything else for $25. I'm like, yes, that's awesome. That's how it was 12-foot. That's wrong. These should be 25 to 50 foot. You can buy cheaper ones on Amazon. All right. It just came out. So we got to talk about it, And that is Icon. And, you know, they're, they're competing directly head to head with the tool trucks at this point. Uh, but they're also competing with Tecton. They're competing with Carlisle. Uh, they're competing with, uh, who else? Some of the other uh, Proto and those guys. And... You know, I so I've got the three eighths flex head and three eighths uh, standard fixed head, and I've got a set of you know here. Let me pull them out real quick. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> I've got the ratcheting wrenches. I got the flex head. Absolutely love them. They're they're. The chrome on them is beautiful. The, the ratcheting mechanism is, is gorgeous. Nice, positive selector. Uh, good impression there. I mean, there's, there's not much to not like about these. It's just... Let me see if I can... There you go. And here's the... Uh, we got a three-quarter selectable... They're beautiful wrenches. I love them. Are they worth the money? Forget if they're, are they good as Snap-on? All right. I'm sorry. I've got Snap-on too. The, you know, let me see here. Because I'm going to say, oh, you hate Snap-on just because you can't afford it or something. Snap-on fanboys. They, they always go nuts. Here's your Snap-ons. See, that's selectable. I got I really prefer flex head. I wish they'd gone flex head first rather than reversing. But you know, they do what they do. Here's a non-flex, uh, you know, with the uh, the grips and stuff, the 10 millimeter. They're great. They really are. There you go. Clockwise. Clockwise. I mean, listen to that. Here's your, here's your snap on. Wait. Harbor Freight Icon. Okay. Icon's a little longer. Chrome is. Can't really distinguish the difference. The imprint, imprinting on it is about as good. Um, 
The selector switch on this is easier to hit, that's for sure. This is a serviceable, self-serviceable, or easier to service. You can pull the plate off rather than having to knock the ring out, that kind of thing. But um, it's just, is, the, is this one worth twice as much as this? Because that's what they're going to try to tell you. Um, is it worth more than the Carlisle? Is it? It's going to take time will tell, but I can tell you, people think that, that tools, that metal metallurgy these days is is like you know magic and they're dealing with you know uh, nuclear physics and stuff and it's just not that hard the question is can they make it at the price point um you know and that's what you're gonna decide i've got the torque wrench i think the torque wrench is fabulous and of course as you guys know i also have the the tool chest and that's been great so far um but let's keep going here uh, no i'm gonna go back you know what the one thing to do is i i would like to say see these a little bit cheaper I, I would. Uh, the ratchets aren't bad. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. That's not a terrible price. The socket sets starting at twenty-five. The breaker bars at thirty-four. The breaker bar is a little bit nicer than the than the uh, Pittsburgh Pro breaker. I mean, I have the Pittsburgh Pro. I, if I had that, I'm not going to step up to one of these. I can tell you that. Anyway, that's all we got time to cover today. I do want to say here's the coupon out the back: fifty-four ninety-nine for the eight-inch five-speed drill tile. Man, it's hard to beat that price. It's terribly hard. Anyway, there you go. Thanks again for all the support. We love you guys. Again, make sure you check us out every Sunday night for the Family Tool Talk Live. We talk tools, business, family, cubs, so much more. Anyway, come by, ask questions, be part of the conversation, be part of the community, help support the, the overall online tool community as a whole. And you know what? Uh, if you, you like what you see here, why aren't you considering, you know, stomping the old like button right there? Just chomp it. Ah, chomp the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, check out the merch if you would. That'll help support the channel as well. Remember, more more merch you buy, the more grizzly you get. <laughs> anyway, you all take care. <laughs> Sorry, you all take care. Have a great day, and as always, shine on.